because the weather's absolutely shite, I might not be able to film much, guys. I'm sorry on this leg. But I'll resume later once I'm in the boat, warm and dry, with a nice glass of something alcoholic. <laughs> So it's not as nice a day today, but I've got a load of bad Georges that I need to get to a post box and there isn't any round here. So I'm gonna move now to Gurnet, try and get there today. And then I've got some friends coming over and different things. So I need to be somewhere pretty much where there's a sort of road. So that's where I'm heading for today. Let's go. I've not got my hip flask because it's 9am, uh, you know, I have a strict rule, no alcohol before 10. Yes, um, but I do have me a little coffee cup, so I'm going to be drinking a brew on this journey. So yeah, but you can have a shot if you want one. It was lovely where I was moored last night and you could hear the owl. I tried to get a bit of footage, I don't know if you can hear it now, I'll play it for you. videos I do try to show you all sides of boating and living aboard as a continuous cruiser you do have to move in crappy weather unfortunately sometimes I'd only been there a day I didn't have to move but due to my work like I make all my little badges I did need to get somewhere where I could get to a post office so and um, post box so that's the thing hey <laughs> nice isn't it So it's, it's very, very moist. Yes, I'm wetter than a mermaid's poof. Jogging in this weather. It's like you wake up in the morning, look outside and see it's drizzling and cold and horrible. You think, I know, let's go for a jog on a muddy towpath. That'll be fun. So I'm at the, uh, this is a road bridge, Phil's Nook Road Bridge, and I need a key to operate it and I have to stop the traffic. Just a big shout out to my new Patreons, Will and Kate. I don't think it's the Royal Will and Kate though, I hope not, anyway, my behaviour. <laughs> Royal Oak Sandwich. So I need to put my key in here, just down there, and then I have to press and hold the button, which will be a bit of a pain. Oh bless them, look at the cars having to wait for me. One's turning around at the bottom, look, he's, he's impatient. This is not very good for single-hander because the bollards are all covered, so I can't moor up there to go and get my key. So that swing bridge, you see, I used my head there. Um, I didn't want to stop the traffic and have to go all the way back to my boat and all that, so there was a passing walker, so I asked them to do it for me. See, don't be afraid of asking for help. Yeah, so, so I did it. Oh, balls, another swing bridge. So I'm at the swing bridge now, and the thing is with swing bridges is the controls are on the off side. So once I've opened this swing bridge, I can't get back on my boat when I'm on my own. So I'm gonna show you now how I have to do them. So uh, bear with me. So what I tend to do is I've pushed my boat over and put myself on that bollard. So the front's over this side of the canal and the back's the other side, but as long as I can get on it somewhere, get hold of it from some way, it don't really matter. Next, I need to pull this big lever hard and then I can swing round the bridge. And next, it's all about just giving it a good old tug in. 
just pulling it through. Oh, she's an heavy old girl. She really is. So I've put the front rope back on the front now and I've grabbed the centre. So that's even better. And she's just coming through now, very, very slowly. She's sort of going with the momentum now. Excuse all them dirty marks on my boat. That's boat life, all mud. And once it's through, just tie on. Either tie your back rope, or if you've got quite a long centre rope, throw that over. It's just so you've got something to grab hold of once you've shut the bridge. So as you can see, my boat's all skew with across the canal. But as long as I can grab one of the ropes and pull it in, it'll be fine. I'll be able to get on it all right. So there you have it. That's how you do a swing bridge on your own. Yes, I'm going for a wee now. So I hope that all came out. I'll know when I did it because I did it all on my phone. <laughs> but that's how you single hand at a swing bridge. Sometimes I'll just moor up before it and wait for another boat. And it's the same on my own. Do you mind if I come through whilst you're going through? There's no wrong with asking for help. But uh, I have to do that on my own. <laughs> So I'm all moored up now and I've had an email from one of my subscribers and he said that he's recently upgraded his drone and do I want his old one? I was like, yeah, that'll be amazing. So he's coming over tomorrow and he's driving all the way over, bless him, and he's bringing me the drone. He's gonna said he's going to teach me how to fly it and do things, so I can't wait. So yeah, so bring on tomorrow. So hey everybody, this is Simon and Simon's come today because he's brought me his old drone. And he's got, sorry, the geese are having a right field day here. And he's going to teach me how to fly it. So we're going to have some flying lessons today, aren't we Simon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here he is, come all the way from Lincoln. And this is the drone he's bought me. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's called a Mavic Pro and it comes with some spare batteries and everything are made up. So at this point, obviously I haven't passed my test, but because I'm with a qualified flyer operator as they're called i can actually fly the drone now i'm not very good um because it's so complicated so once uh, i've got some time i will have a good practice but i do manage to get it in the air have a fiddle and with simon's really good instructions here he's guiding me this is the drone showing it he's teaching me now how to land it on top of my boat so yeah so it's brilliant experience i can't thank simon enough for all his support and help with this I've always wanted a drone, but I could never afford one. So just a massive thank you. Oh guys, it was so lovely meeting Simon. And not only did he bring me the drone and give me a lesson and that, he also brought me some honey. This is from his, uh, he's got a couple of hives from his little farm. How amazing is that? Beautiful. So I can't wait to try that. I do love a bit of honey on my Weetabix with some fresh yogurt. Yes. But anyway, I've been doing some revising. I have to do a test. I've joined the British Model Air craft and drone flying association um, and i have to do an operator's license i think i've got to get a flying license as well i'm not sure so i'm just got to now do all this it's going to take me ages some of the things i've got to learn oh it's hard to learn at our age you know your gray matter doesn't work the same <laughs> so i'm going to be doing this anyway trying to do all this because i can't go off now and fly it until i've passed this theory test so I've got to do that and then I'm going to spend a few days going off into a field somewhere and having a good old fashioned practice. Yeah, so there might not be any drone footage just for the next few weeks until I've done all this malarkey. 
But yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, press the bell end if you want to receive future notifications when I do release a new one. But yeah, so we're going to end it here, guys. So thank you so much. And before I go, a big shout out up to this week's pirate crew. And here they are, me hearties. We've got the lovely Diamond Geezer, Richard and Joe, Chappers, Ralph Ward, Fishless Clive, Stephen Brody, David Van Wart, the lovely Desmo Dave, Z, Alan Harbit, and Bob Naismith. Also, a massive shout out to the patrons who work with me behind the scenes, supporting and helping. So thank you so much to all my lovely patrons. I love you all. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next week. Take care.